So we're going to talk about the Holy Innocence Cemetery. Have you heard of it? I have. Okay. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait now. <laughs> and, and it had other names too. It was also known, and I'm going to probably butcher this because I don't speak French, Lay, Lay Innocence. Lay, Lay, Lay Innocence. Innocence. Les Innocents. Yeah, that sounds much better. <laughs> much better. <laughs> Don't credit me. I have taken many years of French and mm, good old American I- education. <laughs> and I think this was an actually um, the cemetery that was used in one of the scenes for Interview with a Vampire. Yeah. Were, and I think uh, Lestat maybe, but... Don't quote me on that, but I think it was. Um, but yeah, it, it was. It, it used to be the oldest and largest cemetery in Paris, and um, it was utilized during the Middle Ages until the late 18th century. And it um, was on the burial grounds that were originally called Champo. Am I saying that right? Champo. 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 And that went all the way back to the 12th century. So the oh. cemetery went back to the 1100s. So you could just imagine the history uh, from the 12th century to the 18th century. It's just insane to that think about. Insane. I'd be in there but, all day going, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> After you hear what I'm about to tell you, you would probably maybe change your mind about that. Oh, no. <laughs> So originally, um, you know, the devout religious people, they paid to have their remains buried in the cellar of the church that sat on the ground, the Holy Innocence Church, because they thought, you know, having themselves buried closer to God, like it was Mm -hmm. just, you know, that was kind of the thing to do. And of course, you can only bury so many bodies in the cellar of the church. And at one point, they started burying people under the floorboards of the church itself. And the church (laughs) just acted as this giant mausoleum. And can you imagine um, going to church and what that would smell like? Yeah. And just knowing there are people just stacked underneath the church. And so basically what they would do is they would just throw down like lavender and different herbs and things like that to mask the smell. But as you can imagine, it didn't work very well. (laughs) No. No. Oh. So that was the first, um, the first part of the problem. And then they started to run out of room. Uh, The grounds of the church were eventually commissioned for burials. And at that time, no one had any clue of how massive that would be and how it would eventually run out of room. (laughs) Right. So basically what it was, when it was commissioned, they um, were accepting the dead of 22 parishes in Paris. So they took all the dead from, from those parishes. And not only that, but, there were a lot of drownings. There were a lot of vagrants and just bodies for various reasons that they right. ended up taking in. And um, the the rest of the people who weren't paying to be there were just thrown into massive graves. So right next to the cemetery, there was an outdoor market, which, surprise, surprise, people could <laughs> walk around and buy goods and was literally right next to the cemetery. No walls. And eventually the ground started to pile up with these massive graves. And we're talking about 1,500 bodies (laughs) in one open pit. Wow. And they wouldn't even bother to dig another pit until the first one was, was full. 